Hello everyone, welcome to this research methods tutorial on content analysis. First, just a quick word about how to use this tutorial. You must take notes whilst you're watching this, so it might help if you watch and listen first and then pause the video to take your notes. You should also try and add into your notes some examples or questions that you have about the material so that we can discuss these in class. You could also read around the subject by following the web links or by reading through your textbook. So let's start by talking about what we mean by content analysis. Content analysis is a way of studying information from texts or video, from music or from images. In its most basic form, it can be used to keep a frequency tally of the number of occurrences of certain words or themes in the source material. So, for example, we could look at the number of positive and negative words used to describe members of different groups, or we could watch some cartoons and count the number of aggressive acts carried out by the cartoon characters. There are a number of stages that you need to work through when carrying out a content analysis. To start with, you need to formulate some questions and a specific hypothesis that you can then test. Once you've got this as your starting point, then you can select your sample material. So this could be samples of text or audio or some visual material. It's really important to skim read the material first and then create a list of the main themes that crop up. And then using that list, you can define your categories for analysis. Make sure that your categories are fully operationalized and that they're really clear to anyone else who might be coding. The next step is to code the material in your sample. And to help with this, you can use different colors or symbols or numbers to identify the themes or the different sources. And then lastly, you can start to interpret your analysis and report your findings. So to show you an example, I might be interested in whether there are gender differences in accounts of alien abductions, as a random example. Because I'm not really sure what I might find, I can start with a two-tailed hypothesis along the lines of there will be a difference in the frequency of different themes mentioned in accounts of alien abductions by males and females. And here are some extracts of some text that I found looking online for different accounts. So I can start to identify some themes from the highlighted text. The themes that I've identified are things like lost or unexplained time, uh, references to telepathy, talking about medical examinations, and positive and negative emotions that are reported by the speaker from interview. Now that I've identified my general themes and I've come up with some coding categories, I can start to code my data. So here you can see that I've constructed a, a coding table and I've pasted extracts from the text into the table and I've identified which text the extract came from by using a different shape and a different coloured symbol just to make it easier to, uh, to see where that's come from. Once I've finished coding all of the text in my sample, then I can start to draw some conclusions about um, my hypothesis, and then I could start to write up a report. I've only included three examples here for this um, tutorial, so I couldn't really draw any safe conclusions because my sample is too small. Okay, and that's all folks, so hopefully that's given you a helpful overview of how to do a content analysis and the steps that are involved. Thanks very much. Bye.